Thing is fixed. I fixed it. We have dates. We have OBS. We have game. We have all of the things. Hopefully it's running now. Yay! Okay, you can see me. I can see you guys. Now we can game. Thank you for your patience. Sorry about the delay there. I don't know what's going on with OBS. I had to download a bunch of different programs and things because now I'm streaming not only on my station, I'm streaming on the Weirdlings channel as well. And somewhere in the process of that, I don't know if there's a program on my computer that it just doesn't like or what, but now every time that I attempt to um, to put a file into OBS, like this, this um, picture down here that's the Gaming with Mayhem, when I hit the, the add button, it takes forever to bring up every single menu option, like to find the file and add it in. It's taking for freaking ever. No idea what's up with that. Never had that problem before. Me. All right. So yeah. So here we were about to get into the tiny Bronco and go look for the Temple of the Ancients. Ah, uh, now where... I can't remember where they said that that was. Head out to the sea, it said. Okay. That's uh, very specific, because there's only one sea here, right? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. That took so long. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, the weirdlings are now hosting me. Yay, thanks for the host. Appreciate ya. Now, if I do remember, I messed up all my materia. Yeah, he needs some healing. Oh gosh. I started playing Final Fantasy VIII last night for the Weirdling stream. So now I've got my keys all backwards. I just tried to press the uh, O button to get to the menu rather than the triangle button. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. No, I just did it again. Ugh. I keep pressing X. Okay, let's make sure everybody's equipped with everything that they need. Murasame. Mr. Holiday is now hosting me. Thank you so much, friends. I appreciate you all. All right, so he's protected against Berserk, Fury, and Sadness. I've got the Cold Ring, Fairy Ring, Poison, Paralyzed, Petrifying, Slow Numb. She's got the talisman, he's got the earring. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, they've got all the equipment they need. FSH Schmoo says, you work for a security company, so when everyone else starts to close, you get slow because they're not calling. That makes sense. Hey, but somebody's got to protect the world, right? And you're the person to do it. We appreciate you here. Okay, Materia. Man, my phone is blowing up today. Why? All right, arrange everything. You work for a huge multinational retailer, so you get to work your butt off tomorrow. Oh, I feel you so hard, Avery's daddy. I worked. Uh, I worked in retail for a while. When I finished university, I started working at David's Bridal as a wedding consultant. So yeah, you don't get holidays or time off or anything. It's like, oh, it's a holiday? Let's work extra hours. Because everybody wants to work extra hours, right? And then on Black Friday, they would have a, a sale. But it wasn't really a sale. It was really the items that were already on sale were still on sale. So everybody would come in expecting like a $100 wedding gown. And I'm like, okay, here's a single scrap of fabric. There's your wedding gown for $100. Yay! What I did love about that store, though, is that, like, the most expensive wedding gown in the store was around $1,500. That's really great for wedding gowns these days, for the amount of construction that goes into them and the ability to make them more than one size. Fantastic. But geez. Geez, she says. Okay, so Eris is obviously the healer in this party. And she obviously needs to heal everyone. 
And we'll also give her the barrier for everyone. Because, yeah, everyone likes a good barrier in their life, you know? And we'll do haste. Cool, cool. We'll give her... give him a restore in it all. And we'll give her revive. Cool. Okay, so that works. I need another revive is what I need in my life. Oh my gosh, everybody in the world, stop calling me! Don't you know it's game time? Don't you know... Choices. Okay, Cloud. We'll give you that guy. all the extra abilities. Well, hello, Mr. Green. They just need to quit their phone shenanigans. I hear you. Wait, was it you calling me? Throw that in there just cuz. I don't need to lure any chocobos right now. pretty good. I think we've got what we need and we're going to go do this. We're doing it. See it? I wised up today. I put my my PlayStation memory card in the first slot so I don't always have to bounce back and forth. Learning has occurred, folks. You don't have my number anymore? It's the same number I've always had, friend. 
I'll give it to you though. Cause you know I wanna hang out with you guys when you come to town. I can't remember if I just saved or not, so we're gonna do it again. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Off into the great unknown. I haven't done this in forever. I can't remember how it goes. It could go really well or really bad. Richard Harrow says, Hi. Well, hi, friend. How are you? Hi, Hawaii. Ooh, look at them sweet graphics. <laughs> and then cloud, all pixelated. She's like, hmm, that's good. It's time for a nap. I know. I feel it. The knowledge of the ancients. Floating. So they're all high on something? Blazed underscore V. So is that Blazed 5? Hello, is that a little monkey? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. This is adorable. Uh, Richard Harrow, we're playing this on the old PlayStation. Yeah, friend. It's actually the PlayStation 2. For the future? For us? Yeah, I think I'll probably go to my grave with my PlayStation 2, like, wrapped in my little hands. Like, you can't take it from me! I don't even own a PS3 or a PS4 yet. Although I will be starting a Patreon soon to hopefully fund one, because there are some games coming out that I would really like to play, i.e. Final Fantasy VII, the reboot. I need it in my life. It's the only game I would ever consider buying a new console for. I Matrix says Materio Typo incoming. Oh no! Man, I'm seeing some new faces on the channel today. This is exciting, friends. How did you all uh, find the stream? Where'd you find it? Tell me the news. How did you discover the mayhem? What am I doing? Go. Go in there. Do it. Fool, you slipping on the job again? Damn. It's Sing. Oh, it's T-Rex. Nice. Hello. You're a T-Rex. I get it. Thing of the Turks? Ugh, I've been had. Oh, did they buy you dinner first? Did you enjoy it? Was it good? It's not the promised land Sephiroth is searching for. Oh, see, now Cloud's gonna get mad because Cloud is realizing that Sephiroth cheated on him. That ain't nice. You follow Final Fantasy VII on Twitch and the channel popped up. Oh, that makes me happy. Yay. I love this game too. It's my favorite game on the planet. I, If I could only ever play one video game for the rest of my eternity, it would be Final Fantasy VII all day, every day. Uh, this is not where I fight with Yuffie. That was actually a couple of sessions ago. Um, <laughs> oh, green. You're awesome, John. I appreciate you. Gosh, how long have we been friends now? It's it's like eight years or so. Almost a decade that we've been friends. Yeah, so we fought Yuffie a couple sessions ago. This is uh, the Temple of the Ancients that we're about to go into now. So Yuffie was already beaten into submission by her dad, and she wasn't high level enough to beat him, so we'll go back later. I don't ever use her. I find her to be slightly really annoying. Kind of like Barrett. It's like the characters that you have to use for a small period of time to make the game function, I never end up using because I like a certain set of people and I use them all the time. It's a really bad practice. I should get out of that. It's not the promised land that Sephiroth's searching for. Sephiroth? He's inside. He's not inside him right now. Look at it. You don't even see him. What are you doing? Ships on ships on ships. Oh my gosh, Leanne is 13. Jeez, little, little. We're getting old. Letting Arius go was the start of my bad luck. The president was wrong. No, well, no shit, Sherlock. You're wrong! The promised land isn't like what you imagined. And I'm not going to help. Either way, there was no way Shinra could have won. Well, yeah, duh. Godo will actually heal Yuffie. Yeah, but he killed her a lot first. A lot. It's my own damn fault for not uh, using her. Because it's like, I know she's going to betray us later in the game, and I'm just like, I'm not using you. I'm not using you. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. 
The keystone. Place it on the altar. So why didn't Sephiroth need the keystone? Did he just prefer to have Cloud betray his friends, like, to make him happy? It's like a Jessica Jones moment, like, I'm not gonna do it, that would be too easy, I'm just gonna make you do it. Brenda says hello! Hello, Brenda! I miss you and love you. I saw your pictures from Ren Fair. they looked beautiful. Sings with our enemy, the Turks, but I've known him since we were little. There's not a lot of people I can say that about. In fact, there are probably only a handful of people in the world who really know me. And Zack is one of them. Oh, Sian. I am still alive. Oh, see, I don't like Kate Sith either. He's the other one that I never use. I'm like, if you're going to betray me later, I'm not using you. I'm just not doing it. Out of spite. I don't care that it's player knowledge. I don't care. Not doing it. I can't remember any game I've ever used him in. I know slots is a big thing and all. I just can't. I just can't. Death to the traitors, indeed. So, you guys that are tuning into this station, if you like Final Fantasy games in general, not just Final Fantasy VII, then on Monday, Tuesdays, and sometimes Thursdays at 10 o'clock Central, I'm on the Weirdlings station, and I play Final Fantasy VIII there. We just started a new session of it. So that's down here in the little chart. It's twitch.tv slash weirdlings. And we've got four or five different people that are on that channel. We're kind of like Geek and Sundry in that we all play different games and we all have different interests, but we have live streams for all of them. So we will be at um, twitch.tv slash weirdlings at uh, 10 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays. And then this Sunday at 10 a.m. Central, I'm going to be uh, hosting the Dot .geek Twitch stream because we have a live stream D&D campaign that, that runs every other Sunday. So if you love uh, Dungeons & Dragons as well, that's another thing that you should check out. It's really good stuff. Jessica Jones is really great. I, I just finished the season about an hour ago, actually. Oh, it's so good. Wait till you get to, like, episode three is when the twists really start happening. Mm, good stuff. Just really great writing. I dig it. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics. I have not played Tactics in a long time. I think I played that on the DS back in the day, but I've not played that in many years. That is another game that I want to add to the stream eventually. I don't own it, though, so I would, I would have to fund for that. Words, feelings, so many of them here. This place smells good. It smells the same as Cosmo Canyon. Aww, home. I know it's going to be tough, but don't give up. We can do it. Hey, follow me, home dude. Home dude. Nope, wrong way. Where am I? Tactics advance is crap compared to the original. You know, isn't that the same? Like, isn't that just how it is with those types of games? The original is always better. Oh! Cloud does not need to be- Nope, Cloud, stop attacking. Don't do it. I think he's got fire on that. Yep. See, and I just love this version of Shiva. She's just so pretty. I love her little top knot. She's beautiful. Although the one in eight is pretty as well, but I just love this one. Did I not give her any? Oh, I just gave her a summon. That's all right. Yeah, got you. 
Trident. Oh, that's for uh, Sid. How do I? How do I find you? Yeah, got you. Okay. How the fudge? No idea how the hell to get to him. Grr! Don't you be poisoning my peeps? That's rude. Rude. That moment when your mom texts you to tell you that she made way too much Thanksgiving food because she thought people were going to be around and they're not. Oh darn, I guess that means I'm just going to have to take more home myself. By the way, my mom cooks like an amazing Irish woman because she is one. Okay, this is where I started. That doesn't go anywhere. This is totally like an Escher painting. <laughs> when is Thanksgiving from the UK? Oh, you're from the UK. So it's the third Thursday in November. Although, in particular, I don't find it to be an appropriate holiday to celebrate. I'm really not a fan of the whole we're gonna celebrate moving people off of their lands and destroying them in a giant fit of genocide. I'm not um I'm not a fan of it. But hey, any excuse to have my mom's baked goods really. Yeah, John, I'm going to be in Corpus Christi next week from Tuesday until Friday. So if you and Brenda are in Corpus at all, let me know. Maybe we could all go to dinner or something with my mom. Okay. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Can come up this way. Oh, I can't go up that way. Oh, great. I was just thinking too hard, that's all. I found a mine source. Yay. That could possibly be arranged. Awesome. Hey, 
Hey friend. Yum yum. Woo, we finally caught up to you. I'm sorry, you waited for me. Those are the spirit bodies of the ancients. They've been away from their planet for a long time to protect this temple. I love her. Ooh, La Poslada is next weekend. Ah, oh, boo, I have to come back up to Austin. I'm refereeing a roller derby bout on the 6th, on the 5th, that Saturday. And I have, um, actually they didn't need words from the beginning because there was only one objective for those left in the temple. I have an unboxing video for the weirdlings to film, actually two. Um, somebody that I went to college with does, works for a company that does like facial um, products and things. So she sent me a box of those and we're going to do an unboxing video of those. And then we we have a sponsorship from Quarterly Co. They sent us the, the third Will Wheaton box. If you guys have not checked that out, it's freaking amazing. You should really check out the Will Wheaton boxes. They're the jam. Um, he, Will Wheaton is just a really great guy. He does some really cool boxes that are themed by decade. So the first one was the 70s, the second one 80s, this one will be the 90s. I'm going to pull it up for you. Um, and each box is themed from things from his childhood, which are pretty freaking awesome. The last one had like the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition starter set in it, and it had an entire console. I got the retro bit Nintendo and Super Nintendo console in it so cool so they sent us the 90s box and that's the un uh, the link i just sent there in the chat is the link for the unboxing video that we did for the 80s box it's hilarious and it's got so much stuff in it so we are going to be unboxing the next box on the fifth and then in the afternoon i have the roller derby bout and it's it's an awesome underground bout so all of the underground bouts are themed this one is grannies versus the reindeers it's gonna be great. Cause roller derby. Yay! Yeah, it's a short video. I think it's only three or four minutes, but it's it's really funny. We shot it in Houston. Uh, Danny Danger and I were in Houston for the McCall Armstrong World's Fair of Hair show. And it was like 2 in the morning when we filmed that. We'd both been up since 5 a.m. the night, the day before. So crazy. But we enjoyed it. And my hair is ridiculous. Awesome, John, I got your text. <laughs> Brenda had my number, that's great. Love Brenda. She's my peeps. All right, let's save my game. Let's rest first. Yay, resting. And then we're going to use those hypers we just bought. So Fury allows you to get to your limit break quicker, which I like. They're planet aliens, that's funny. I am a T-Rex, that's a great handle, I dig that. I saw one yesterday, it was Ender Gaming, I think it was. Oh, that's such a cool handle, dig it.
Turbo Ether, yay! Give me things. Rocket Punch. That's gotta be for Tifa. Oh, there's my home dude. He went in there. Fury also causes more damage to happen to the character. That I did not know. That's a good that's a good thing to know. Is it because you're mad? And then I need to change Cloud. I need to change his materia. I just remembered. Because if we are fighting people who are fire inclined, then I don't need to be dealing fire damage. Sarah, letting you know that you won't be able to watch the streams for the rest of the week, maybe until the end of next week. Work is insane, family is gathering, there's stress upon stress. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you stopped by to say that. This is actually my last stream this week until Sunday, so I start again um, Monday. Oh, and I just realized I'm going to be out of town Tuesday and Thursday, so I won't be able to stream then either, I don't think. Good to know. I need to tell some people some things. But yeah, thank you so much for letting me know that. I appreciate you. I'm probably going to be out next week. Swap Shiva instead of Ice Materia. No, um... Right, I took off the Fire Materia and added the Ice Materia, and he's already equipped with Shiva. So that'll work out. Where was I going? Well, that leads nowhere, but that does. Ah, that's materia. That looks like materia to me. Why not swap shirt? Okay, yeah, I just read that. Ah, oh, gosh! Oh, I was like, is that a tease? Lucky plus. Ooh, that's fun. So here's a question, what exactly does luck do for you in this game? I can't remember the mechanics of that. Does that like reduce random encounters or something? Luck plus? Why? Why is it supposed to have two S's on it? Curious! Increases the chance of critical attacks. Ooh, yes, please. I'm going to put that in there right now. No! Lowers the encounter rate slightly. All right. Bam. 
Oh, synchronized jumping. Impaler. What's that? Changes one opponent to a frog. Why is that called impaler? That makes no sense. No sense, Final Fantasy. You're making no sense. This guy. Yeah, levels and levels. It's a shiny spell. I love it. Yash. Oh. Sealed. That sound brings back memories. So that's home dudes. Thingamabobber. So can't go that way. Okay, so I gotta go that way. Cool. Good to know.
I'm missing the way to get to an area here. Because I haven't been up to that... Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Only way... The only way out is up! Now here... I'm so lost! He was trying on everybody. Now, what's the point of going up here if it doesn't lead anywhere? It's all lies. It's all, it's all lies. All right, well, looks like the only way to go is this way. <laughs> I don't wanna. You can't make me. Looks like we're just we're just following the dude. We're going that way. It's happening. Oh no! Oh oh oh! I died. Oh, I died again. did it. Everyone alright? That sure took a lot out of us. I love how when she, her, her hair stands up. Come on, hurry up, let's go, do the thing. It's a trap. It's full of the knowledge of the ancients. No, not knowledge consciousness, a living soul. It's trying to say something. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. What? What is it? Danger? An evil consciousness? Show, you're, you're going to show me? 
She's tripping. That Arius is tripping again. Wait, look, it's showing us. Can we find the promised land with this? I wonder. Anyway, we have to report to the president. colors welcome to the chat room what brings you in today how'd you find me if I may be excused uh, was that a yes she wants to go to dinner with him or a no I don't know what's going on with that is this a promised land no it can't be yeah well it ain't the promised land <gasps> there's Sephiroth oh look see he's looking right at cloud even in the dream You've been on here before. Oh yeah, duh. Final Fantasy directory. Yay! It's been a few sessions since you've checked in. Then again, that's my own fault for being out for like two, three weeks in a row. I am becoming one with the planet. I'm becoming one with the planet. One with the planet? You stupid fools, you've never even thought about it. All the spirit energy of this planet, all its wisdom and knowledge, I will meld with it all. I will become one with it and it will become one with me. You, you can do that? The way lies here. Only death awaits you all, but do not fear, for it is through death that a new spirit energy is born. Soon you will live again as a part of me. Creepy. Hey Buddha, how's it going? Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the Final Fantasy VII stuff. Um, the next D&D session is this Sunday at 10 a.m. We're going to be um, streaming on twitch.tv slash dot geek. We're playing the Dominion of Esseland. And then I'm hoping sometime before the end of the year, I'm going to be able to get my uh, Adventure League group back together to do another session. I'm waiting on some schedules about that. taking him out. Don't forget about us. Oh, there goes Cloud. Or there goes Sephiroth. No! Sephiroth will save you! Oh, he went away. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Thanks for hanging out, Buddha. I'm excited. It's going to be some good sessions.
Yum yum. Numbers, colors, you walk that canine. What you up to right now, Buddha? What you doing? Ooh. I am the Time Guardian. Ye who seek the knowledge of the ancients, control the time, select your path. Triangle buttons move it myself. O button spin and X button is proceed now. It is time. You may proceed. Nope, dead end. Kaiseris says, how many times would you say you've beaten Final Fantasy VII? Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, I've been playing it since 1997, so I've been playing it for 20 years now. I, I can't even... I can't even imagine how many times I've beaten it. Jeez. How do I... Move the thing! It's been many, many years, though. I didn't get to play much while I was in college. Do you have to leave and come back? Like, what do you do? Oh, no! I fold. This atmosphere. I'm tingling with excitement. Oh, battle. It's a dinosaur! Meow! Have you been playing this game, Kaiseris? Nail bat. Whose weapon is that? Gotta love internet knit shoes. Have you looked into the green screen stuff for this? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I could, I guess. You don't like my background? You don't like it? You've probably beaten it at least 12 times. Yeah, I mean, that's a 
sounds right to me. Oh, okay, so I pop out there. Now I gotta walk all the way back down there. Okay, I see where we're at with this. It's been many years for me. Many years! When I was first around, uh, when it first came out in 97, my stepdad was, um, he was in the Navy, he's a Navy man, and he would play video games when he came home from being out at sea. So I got to watch him play a lot of games, and that's kind of how I learned the pace of them and learned how to play them. And it wasn't until he would go out to sea that I would get the opportunity to play them for myself. But he, this was a game that I was always a little happy about because he was never able to beat it. He would play it over and over again, and he would always get stuck on the final boss. And so I remember thinking, oh man, Sephiroth and that final, like, Genova, all that, that's got to be super freaking hard. There's no way I'll ever beat it, right? And I got through the game the first time and got all the way to the end. And I remember it, it would take him, like, he would do that battle, and it would take him, like, hours. He'd be in that battle for 45 minutes, an hour, and then he'd die and just rip horribly. I remember getting through it, I think, in, like, 20 minutes. And just being like, oh, so so that's it? All right. I don't know. Um, if the technology found its way to me, John, I would totally be into doing a green screen. I just am operating on the uh, model actor life budget, which is a non-existent budget for things like tech. So as of right now, not happening. I do think that I'm going to set up a Patreon sometime soon, and I will put that on the list of things that that will fund. New game, I think, will be on the list. Maybe a green screen and a console. I think the console might be the top of the list. completely understand. You haven't played in a while because you would day like five years ago you decided to stop playing it so you could forget enough that when you play to make... Oh, I see you. That's actually a great tactic. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been so many years for me that it's like it's, like it's brand new. Which I love. It makes me happy. You're an Xbox gamer. Now, if an Xbox showed up on my doorstep, I'd play it. That would happen. So if you know anybody who's not using one and wants to get rid of it, holla. I'll play it. Um, I used to play a lot of Halo back in the day. A little bit of Call of Duty, but I preferred playing that on the PlayStation. But yeah, the controls... The controller's just so bulky. I have very tiny hands. So the PlayStation controllers, they're sleek. They, they suit me a lot better. Bitch! Stop stealing all my my magic. That's rude. Yeah, see, first person shooters just aren't my style as much. I love turn based roleplay, so I think I will I will always I will always want to play this this type type of game. But yeah, I take donations, so if anybody has an extra console of any kind laying around that they're they're not using, I will play it if you send it to me. Same goes with games. If there's a game that you want to see somebody play and you have access to it, feel free to send it my way. I can shoot you the address for the weirdlings and we can work that out. They make mini controllers. Oh, that's interesting. I could get into that.
Oh, dead end. Lame. Have I played Final Fantasy 13? No, I have not. Uh, so I played 7 and 8 and a bit of 9, although I rented 9 back in the day. I didn't have, the, I didn't own the game, so I only got partway through disc 1. I loved the game, though. Um, I played 10. I started 10-2. I have 10 and 10-2, but those are the last ones I played. 11 was the MMO, and I've never really been a big fan of MMOs, although I would play it because it's a Final Fantasy game, so I would try it. But I don't own 13 either. So that is where I stopped. Ooh, yeah, girl, look at all that. All them slots. Slots and slots and slots. What did I think of 10? <sighs> Lulu was awesome. I loved her. She's awesome. She's so sassy and strong. I loved her. Um, Blitzball, I never really got the hang of. I loved the temples. Those were fun. All the puzzles and the story of the aeons and things. Oh, that was cool. Titus is a whiny little bitch, and he drives me up the wall. But that's the... That's the case of most characters like that for me. I feel like Titus is the Renoa of that game. Like the Yuffie and Renoa. The annoying little bitch that just whines all the time. Nah, not about it. Um, Aron is a badass. Loved him. The quality of the game was great. I actually liked the fact that the story drove itself. Rather than having to like grind levels and things. I always dug that. And I liked the plot twist. The whole he's dead business. I dug that. I liked it. Yeah, I hated Blitzball. I didn't hate it, I just wasn't any good at it. I'm not good at sports with balls, folks. It's A, why I play roller derby, and B, why I date women. Not good with it. Uh, minis are near the middle of the size difference between an NES and a 360 controller. Okay, cool. I'd take that. I'd take that. Alright, so... Putting it out into the universe. Universe, find me an Xbox and a mini controller thingy. I'll play it. I'll play it. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, that, that sounds bad. All right, we're going to come back to that one. You thought the derby was to assist with your aggression outlet. <laughs> I've never been, I've never really been that much of an aggressor. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm always happy and go lucky. I'm the, I'm a jammer. I'm like, get out of my way. I want to get through the pack. I want to score the points and I want to skate hella fast. That's my shit. That's my jam. All right, so 12 o'clock is the big bad, because when you have the heartbeat noise, that's never a good thing. So we're going to check out all these other places first. Buddha is back. You beat Final Fantasy X with 120 hours and like 60 of those hours with nothing but Blitzball. You were obsessed, plus you wanted Waka's ultimate weapon. Oh, is that where you get his ultimate weapon, is through playing Blitzball? I didn't even know that. Ha! I wish I could come hang out in Kingsville. That'd be fun. I haven't been back to Kingsville since I left university. Ooh, I got a ribbon. Protects against all abnormal status. Yeah! Give me that. Give me that business. 
Kaiser, Kaiseris has been hearing from people that supposedly when Cloud and Tifa slept next to each other outside of the high wind, they supposedly bumped and grinded, but you never got that. We did not bump and grind. They did not. That did not happen. Cloud was too busy thinking about Sephiroth and whole the whole thing. You know, Tifa might wanted to, might have wanted to cuddle up with him. Maybe she, if she like got him drunk and he passed out, maybe it had happened. But I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I just don't. I just don't. But then again, I'm a hardcore shipper. I ship hardcore the Sephiroth and Cloud. That's just how I roll. And in Final Fantasy VIII, I ship uh, Squall and Cypher. It just makes the world balanced. Buddha, you didn't... everything but... you... ah. Oh! Alright, that'll work. I know I already went here, but I'm trying to speed it up. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. You just couldn't stand Blitzball. See, it's like the card game in Final Fantasy VIII. I was just not any good at it. Just not any good at it. I kind of want to name this episode something, something, something in the Wheel of Time. You know, because Wheel of Time reference, why not? The smell of the ancients in the Wheel of Time. Trumpet shell. What's that do? Kate says weapon. Yeah, yeah. When in doubt, scroll through your menu until you find the item. if I went to this one or not. We're about to find out. Blitzball wasn't for everyone. You just enjoyed it because it was mindless distraction from the story. I hear you. So what did you think about the card game in Final Fantasy VIII, Buddha? What'd you think about that? Anything that dis that distracts you from Lulu is bad. Preach. It's hard to be distracted from her, though. Them boobies. These beautifuls. Hello, Extreme Rogue. That's a great name he has there.
All right. Buddha, you got into Final Fantasy late in life. Ten was your last Final Fantasy game, and then you went back to seven. Understandable. So, did you play eight then? You didn't play eight. Kaiseris had a friend in high school who didn't play video games, and she would come over and just drool all over Lulu. She used to get chills looking at her. I tell you, I tell you what. There are several characters in Final Fantasy, se several of them that I drool over. Uh, the Sorcerer's Adia, also boobies, or lack thereof, more clavicle bone, like cleavage. But yeah, that's strong and sassy. Yes, please. Tara Branford, because Tara. And Lulu, yes. Cool. That's right, bitch. I got you. Oh, and Quistis. Oh my gosh. How did? How could I forget Quistis? I was drooling all over her last night. Quistis, sassy lady who's in charge with a whip and knowledgeable and intelligent. Yes, please. Who didn't show enough boobies? Wait, what? Oh, okay. You're saying because I didn't say Quistis because she didn't show enough boobs. No, I like that about her. She's classy. She shows her thighs though. Them boots. Them boots. You love selfie? Wait, what? 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 Why? She's so bubbly and perky and, well, I mean, I guess. All right, it's cool. Energy and enthusiasm. They're cool. They're cool. Cypher was my favorite. He and Squall make an adorable little couple. It's fresh. Hey, it's, it's cool, though. To each their own. You can have Selfie, and I'll have Quistus and Adia, and that'll work out. You can never know it, too. Take her. Take her. Just make sure I never have to see her again. Please. Love. <laughs> she get her shit kicked by Dia, that's funny. Just take me to the fifth, the first level. That's all I want to do. Yay! There we go. Yay! Yeah, Sorceress Adia would probably kick Lulu's butt. They're probably sisters. This is the room with the murals. Where are you, Sephiroth? Oh. So cold. I'm always by your side. Come.
understand what you're saying. Look at that which adds to the knowledge of I'm becoming one with the planet. He's been smoking them shrooms again, is what he's been doing. Do you smoke shrooms? Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh gosh, my knee. Oh man, my bad knee. Ugh. I like gaming with my legs curled up, but man, after two hours of gaming, my knee aches. Whew. Gotta stretch it out a little bit. And now Sephiroth, what is he doing? Is he doing what I think he's doing? It looks like he's having a little me time. That's weird. Weird. Soon we will become one. Cloud's like, hey, fool, why are you doing that without me? Buddha says, so all of the Final Fantasies, which did you think had the best story? Oh, seven. Seven by far. Once the planet is hurt, it gathers spirit energy to heal the injury. I like Six as well. It's got a great story to it. Gosh, I haven't played that in forever. JLU Nightwing says Seven. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Nice of you to drop in on us. Have you have you been in the chat before? I can't I can't recall. What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think how much energy would be gathered. Then ten. The story of ten, really? Alright, that's cool, that's cool. I like the whole the planet's dead thing. Hi! I mean that the main character's a dead thing, that was cool. It's your first time. Oh, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I'm Mayhem Smuse. This is my stream. Did you find us through the Final Fantasy VII channel thing? Only to be reborn as a god to rule over every soul. Alright, fool, you're getting a little raceland on me right now. I mean, I know you got the silver hair and all, but your eyes are blue. They're not hourglasses. You need to calm your shit. Eight, you think, was the best. Why do you think eight was the best? What was it about the story that intrigued you? Yes, through the channel. Awesome, awesome. The ending of nine. Ugh! I've not played all the way through nine. That's the one that I haven't played. Curses. But everybody who has played it says it's amazing. I played partway through the first disc back in the day when I had to rent things from Blockbuster, but something happened and I had to take it back and I never got back into it. But I've been meaning to because I loved the look of that game and I actually liked the main character. He was cute. And I liked Dagger. She was cool. Dagger, knife, sword, whatever her name was. Cloud's like, but I thought you wanted to be with me. <laughs> Nine is really good. I need to play it. I, I don't know how it ends. I kind of want you to tell me. Cloud's steroids are kicking in right now. Is something wrong? No worries, fool. You just tripped out a little bit. It's cool. It's cool. We're cool. Everyone's cool here. Nanaki's like, I don't know about that. 7, 12, 10, 8, and 9 are your favorites in that order. All right. I would do a playthrough of 9. I just don't own it right now. So if anybody's got it and they want to send it my way, feel free. I'll play it. I'll do it. I like the graphics of, of 8. I like the look of that game. It's very pretty. And it feels a lot like Legend of Dragoon to me, which makes me happy. I 
And I need to play 12. I've heard good things about 12. But I only have a PS2, and that's a PS3 game, is it not? It's on the PSN. I don't have a PS3. I am rocking the PlayStation 2 lifestyle. Also on my list of things that I need. I plan on getting a PS4 as soon as the the um, the 7 remake comes out. Yeah, when that comes out, I will definitely have to invest in a PlayStation 4 if I haven't crowdsourced for it yet. Oh no, battle! Hiya. I do have a PS1 memory card. That is what I play this game on, actually. Ooh, Cloud is a girl. That would be cool. It'd be groovy. I dig it. I need to start a Patreon. I'm just a little nervous about it. I've never, like, asked for money from people. Gotta love Shiva, an oldie but still a goodie. Yes! She's consistently one of my favorite summons. Which is weird because I don't ever favor ice magic, but I just love Shiva. She's just the jam. Um, no, I I have no rule against no spoilers in this chat. Oh! Bam! That was nice. I was expecting that to go a lot longer. What's my favorite summon? Ooh. Ooh. Mean. That's a mean question. I like Hades. Hades is pretty groovy. The little cauldron action. Um... Gosh. Yeah, no, I don't mind spoilers. Go for it. Especially if I ask for them. If I'm like, hey, tell me what's about to happen, or hey, what happens in this game? Go for it. It's cool. I'm one of those people that will read the last chapter of a book just so I know what's coming so that I can, like, see the mechanics of it as it's working out. And I like knowing what's going to happen in a show, too, because then I can see it coming, and I, I appreciate much more if I see it coming. My favorite summon. Gosh. Diablo's pretty cool from 8. I dug him. Carbuncle was pretty cute. Odin is always awesome. Gosh, there's so many. It's so hard to choose. I agree that Bahamut of 7 was the best. That's truth. Do -do 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 -do. Um. 
So it's 2.37, so I'm going to play at least for another half hour. Um, you guys should help me come up with a title for this episode. I'm thinking something in the Wheel of Time. But I, I like to have like two or three different things. We're locked in. I'm supposed to be doing a thing here. There it goes. Knights of the Round were cool. Yeah, Knights of the Round does take forever, and I will be getting Knights of the Round in this um, this game. I'm not going to say this session, because it's not going to be for a while, but I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, don't level Eris. Why? Because she dies? Like, is that why? Oh, spoiler alert for anybody who's not played this game. What should we do, Cloud? Shake it, take it, or leave it? Leave it! Don't touch that shit. Don't do it. I don't understand. What? Really? They said that the temple itself is the black materia. What do they mean? So this whole building is the black materia? This huge temple? I think we've all played this. Yeah, alright. I think you're probably right. And inside it is a small device, which gets smaller when each time you solve a puzzle. As the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too, until it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. So if we solve the puzzles, the black materia will get smaller and smaller and we can take it out? Yes, but there's one thing. You can only answer the puzzles inside the temple. So anyone who solves the puzzle will be crushed by the temple. I see. The ancients didn't want dangerous magic to be taken out of the temple so easily. It'll be safer if no one else can take it. Then Sephiroth can't either, right? No, we've got to think of a way to get it out. See, you've been killgraved right now, sir. You've passed the 17-year rule concerning spoilers for this game. That's nice. I, I love that. There's nothing to him to throw their lives away to get the black materia. This place isn't safe. We'll know shit, Sherlock. I'm telling you, he's been killgraved. He's been brainwashed by his love of the beautiful silver-haired man. So what are we going to do? Run away, fool, that's what you do. Uh-oh. Cell phone. Avon calling. Hi, Cloud. This is Kate Sith. I overheard the whole story. It's magic. Don't forget about me. Everything you said makes perfect sense. You can use my stuffed body for the future of the planet. We can't let Sephiroth get his hands on the black materia. And we can't let the Shinra get, it on, get theirs on it either. But Cloud, there's really nothing else you can do. Everyone, please trust me. No way, fool. Nah, I don't trust your shit. Mm-mm. You're watching another female streamer who's playing Seven for the first time. Oh, beautiful. How old is she? The game is old enough to, to get into a bar. <laughs> it is. I've been playing this game for 20 years. How crazy is that? Please believe me, Cloud. How can I? I can't. We're not doing it. Oh, whatever. It's a choice, but it's not really a choice. I hate that. Don't give me choices if they're not really choices. She's 28. Nice. She's a year older than I am. Well, a couple months older than I am, at least. I will be 28 in less than a month. That's exciting. Is she loving the game so far? Is she liking it? 
all leveled up. Yay! What you saying, friend? Yum yum. What was your reaction when you heard about the remake? Um, I heard about it either on Twitter or on Facebook, I believe, because I have so many friends that are huge nut bar fans of Final Fantasy that everybody was posting about it within five minutes. Um, and my first reaction was, oh my god, yes! And then my second reaction was, oh man, I hope the music is in it. How the hell do I get back out of there? Oh, duh, I went the wrong way. F. Yeah, my reaction, my big reaction is, gosh, I hope they don't ruin the music. Hold on, it looks like, okay, my computer, I think, just lagged. Did you guys lose the feed? Did the feed go away? Or is my computer just being silly face? It happens. All right, well, computer lag happening to you too. Okay, cool. Well, as long as we're still on. I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. No Irish goodbyes for me today, folks. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. They said nobody isn't going to work on this remake. So that could mean one of two things. That could mean that they're going to go with a new score completely, or it could mean that they're just going to reuse the music they've already got and just remaster it, which is kind of what I'm thinking. Because it really the, the articles that I've read from the creators have said that they're wanting to stay very true to the original game. They're going to update some things that need updating, but they're going to stick as true to it as possible. So in that, I really think that they're not stupid enough to change that much about the game. The, man, that soundtrack I think is more popular than any other game soundtrack and more recognizable than anything other than maybe like Mario or Zelda. So they'll probably just remaster it and then continue on with it. I especially think that because of Advent Children. They use the same music. So I really just don't see them getting rid of it. I don't see it happening. So yeah, so even though Nobu isn't doing anything with it, that could just be like the the old and maybe a little bit of a spoiler alert here for Game of Thrones fans. It could be like the whole, oh yeah, Jon Snow's really dead. He's really, really dead. Like, no, really, he's dead. Well, yeah, he is, because in the next season, they're going to bring him back in some way. So he is dead at the moment, but that doesn't mean that his character's gone forever. So it could mean Nobu isn't going to be involved in the game because they've already got the music and it's already going to be remastered. Done. I hope they... Oh, did they put his name in the trailer? Okay, great, great. Then, yeah. See, that's probably how it's going to be. I hope they don't change the music. It, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it wasn't broke. Just give us updated graphics, maybe streamline the battle system a little bit, and move on about your business. And that's how Jen sees it. I have a lemon seed in my coffee. Oh no, that guy! Why? He's gross and ugly. They're making Kingdom Hearts 3. That I hadn't heard. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in a while. That's another game I'd love to stream. I love that game so much, but I don't own it.
So the Weirdlings is the channel that I play on. That's a group of many people. Um, but I'm Mayhem and this is my stream. So if you're trying to get a hold of Craig, I don't know if he's actually paying attention to the stream or not. There you go, yeah. So you're in my my stream. Have I ever played Xenosaga? No, I have not, but I think I have seen that game played before. <laughs> no worries, friend, no worries. It's hard to keep up with. Call me Mayhem, call me Jen, call me anything but late for dinner. No, the other stream isn't just me. So the other stream, The Weirdlings, is a lot like Geek and Sundry. There are five or six of us that all contribute to that. Numbers Colors is back. Oh, to hey, k Saris, no worries, no worries. Yeah, so the other stream is The Weirdlings. That's the one that I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII on. I'm just one of many contributors that attribute to that stream. We also have a YouTube channel, The Weirdlings. We've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, all the things. Yeah, so we've got creators that do, like, art. Um, we've got someone who does comic book pull lists. We've got a little bit of all the things on that stream. Yay for a crappy extender. What should you mean by that, friend? He's flailing. Never a good thing, not flailing. Dunskis. Levels. Gigas armlet. Hey, Kate. It's me. I'll handle the rest. Cloud's like, deuces. I'm not good at this. Mm -mm, don't look at me. I understand. I feel the same, too. Why don't you read our fortunes? 
Say, that's right, I haven't done it in a while, right? I'm so excited. Right or wrong, I'm still the same old me. Now, what should I predict? Let's see how compatible Cloud and I are. <laughs> well, well, that'll cost you exactly one date. Here I go. Seven is by far my favorite of all the Final Fantasy games. If I could only ever play one video game for the rest of my life, it would be Final Fantasy Seven. This isn't good. I can't say it. Poor Tifa. Poor all of you. He's gay! I promise I won't get mad. Is that so? Then I'll tell you. Looks good. You are perfect for each other. Arius' star and Cloud's star. They show a great future. Cloud, I'll be your matchmaker. Preacher, I'll do whatever you want me to. Kinky. Just call me when it all happens. Couldn't be farther from the truth. Thank you for believing me, knowing that I was a spy. This is the final, final farewell. Whatever. You'll just show up with another body in like two seconds. It ain't that big a deal. Be strong, Kate Sith. She told me to be strong. I feel so happy. Oh. Pfft. He's like me. Clumsy. Feels. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Feeling. What happened? I can still move more. can protect the planet too. I'm kinda embarrassed. There's plenty of stuffed toys like my body around, but there's only one me. Oh, you're such a drama queen. Just get on with it already. Don't forget me even if another Kate Sith comes along. Goodbye then. I guess I'm off to save the planet. Lame. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Zal. Cloud with that sexy pose. I know, working. Working. Wow. These graphics are unusually bad. Like, really, really bad. You need great spiritual power to use it. You mean lots of spiritual energy? That's right, one person's power alone won't do it. Somewhere special where there's plenty of the planet's energy. Oh yeah, the promised land. The promised land. <laughs> what a hole. I see what you did there. That's where you're wrong, friend. Ah, but I have. I'm far superior to the ancients. I became a traveler of the life stream and gained the knowledge and wisdom of the ancients. I also gained the knowledge and wisdom of those after the extinction of the ancients. And soon I will create the future. I won't let you do it! The future is not only yours! Ha ha ha! I wonder. The noise! 
eyes. There, Cloud. Good boy. See, Cloud's like trying to run to Sephiroth, run into him slowly. Just you and me forever, forever, forever. The future is bright. The future is orange. I gave the black materia to Sephiroth. Why? What did I do? Cloud, be strong, okay? I know he's super sexy and all, but you have to resist him. Is he beating up? Is he beating up Arius? Rude. Everything is white. What did I do? I don't remember anything. My memory, since when? If everything's a dream, don't wake me. Emo Cloud. All right. Oh, here we are in the forest again. Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. He's just so sexy. Then why don't you really worry about it? Oh, no. That's my daily three o'clock reminder to tell my girlfriend to stop working and have a snack. My lady works super duper hard and doesn't ever remember to take a break during the middle of the day, so I remind her, cause I love her. And Cloud, you take care of yourself. So you don't have a breakdown, okay? Because personal time is quite important for you. What is this place? This forest leads to the city of the ancients and is called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth uses Meteor. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Cetra, like me, can do it. The secret is just up here. At least it should be. I feel it. It feels like I'm being led by something. Then I'll be going now. I'll come back when it's all over. Running, running as fast as we can. Do you think we'll make it? We're running. Keep holding my hand so we don't get separated. She's thinking of interfering. She'll be a difficult one, don't you think? We must stop that girl soon. Okay, bye! Wake up, fool. You tripped. You tripped out. Hardcore. I don't really know. I guess that's alright. Well, don't worry too much about it. You know, Cloud, Arius is gone. Everyone's out looking for her. No! City of the Ancients. Eris is headed there. By herself? Why does she go by herself? Because she knows you can't handle it, fool. Duh. Hey, we're going too. Only the Ancients, only Eris can save us from Meteor. Then we must go. What do we do if something happens to Eris? If Sephiroth finds her, she's in trouble. Sephiroth already knows. Hey, why are you still sitting around? 
Let's go, Cloud. I might lose it again. If Sephiroth comes near me, I might tear my clothes off and run after him. Yeah, goddammit. It's because of you that Sephiroth got the black materia in the first place. It's your damn fault. Rude. My fault? I know you got problems. Hell, we all do. But you don't even understand yourself. But you gotta understand that there ain't no getting off a tra this train we're on till we get to the end of the line. Cloud, we came this far. Aren't you going to settle up with Sephiroth? Everybody went away. Cloud, we came this far. No, I'm afraid. If this keeps up, I may go crazy. I'm afraid? Just a damn jackass, that's what you are. Yo, just think about it. How many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. But they go on living. They don't run away. Isn't that how it is? Cloud, you'll come with us, right? I believe in you. What, what am I supposed to do? Pull out of here? Pull out to where? Wait a minute, Tifa. Give him a little time. He has to decide this on his own. You believe in Cloud, right? I'm afraid to find out the truth, but why?
doing the things. I am probably going to save and quit sometime soon here. Since it seems like everybody has gone off to do their own thing. Buy items! Yeah! None of those. I met someone a soldier named Zach. save here and we are going to call it for the day. Awesome. All right, folks. So this is another session of Gaming with Mayhem. So this week is a little weird because of the break and everything. Um, if I get an opportunity to, I might stream Friday night. Maybe Saturday night. I don't know. It really depends on what happens the rest of the week. But um, the rest of the schedule for this week still holds. Saturday, uh, sorry, Sunday, we're going to be streaming the Dominion of Esseland. So that's going to be great, 10 a.m. And then next week, I am going to be visiting my mom. So I will be out of town and unable to stream. But I will be popping in on the Weirdling streams next week. So you guys can check me out there. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys on Sunday and next weekend. Thanks for gaming with me. Spread the mayhem. I'll talk to you all soon.